Hello viewers and welcome to my third video for Rivet Gaming, my YouTube channel. Uh, it is, however, the first one in which I speak, which is cool. Um, as you can see, I have had 26 views on my latest video and 72 views on uh, my first video of me flying from Launceston to Winyard. Uh, anyway, uh, so I thought I might show you my setup. So starting off, I thought I might start off with the keyboard. So here I just have my, well, Apple keyboard. It is very, very thin. You can hear it. It's a good keyboard. It is wireless. Um, it's battery operated, so it'll go for a fair few days before then being um, needed to recharge uh, via USB, which is good, which I use my little USB hub over here to... If I pan the camera around, use my little USB hub over here to um, plug it into with the little lightning cable, which is very good. Uh, this has overall been a very good keyboard. It has a numeric um, uh, keypad on the end of it, so I can do calculations, I guess. Anyway, uh, moving on to my mouse. So I do have multiple mouses. Um, I'll show you my first mouse, which is... A Logitech G602. So as you can see here, here is my Logitech G602. It is a very good mouse. Uh, has many, many, many side buttons, which is actually a good thing, especially when doing flight simulators such as X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator, because you can map these to different to do different things. Um, it's got that right amount of clickiness, as I soon will show you. I better should turn it off. Just so it doesn't interact with my computer. Um, anyway, so it's got these. Um, I'll let you have a listen to the mouse buttons. Middle clicks. Um, the one only problem that I have with this mouse is that the middle click sometimes doesn't register. You have to push it down quite firm in order to get it to work. Um, these two increase increase the pointer speed. Uh, these two buttons here they were mapped default with the Logitech gaming software. Which you can get off Logitech's website. Has two modes: um, uh, endurance and gaming. Well, gaming sort of performance mode. If I just turn this on, you can see blue meaning gaming performance and green meaning endurance. It's a very good mouse. Uh, I have been using it most of the time, but it's not my only mouse, as I should soon shall show you. I also have this Logitech MX Anywhere 2S. Which is my, because I have this for gaming, and this mouse just for, well, everything else. It's got a nice infinite scroll feature. It also has a gesture button, which I've changed to middle click. Because uh, you activate the infinite scroll by middle clicking. Uh, it's got nice buttons. It's only got two side buttons compared to the very many side buttons that are on my other mouse, as you can see here. Um, anyway, if I just go back here. Once again, this mouse is turned itself back on uh, so then I also have this Apple mouse so I have barely 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 ever use it it's very interesting it does have a chip in the side but it's very interesting as in how you use it by scrolling with the middle button or middle gesture like that and the clicking it's very good um, but then it can also be a bit annoying especially the shape of it compared to something like my G602 which has a very steep um, kind of arch to it. Uh, anyway, I also have some trackpads that um, came with, well, this one came with my computer. It's an original, just um, ordinary iMac trackpad. It's very big. It um, doesn't make a single noise, apart from my fingers going down on it. It's very silent, um, which is a good thing, I guess. It has, uh, once again, it's similar design to my original uh, the Apple keyboard, this one here, uh, with the same USB charging and it's Bluetooth. So meaning that if you wanted to use it for something like Windows, uh, you could do it. Uh, also I have this old trackpad. Now this one is a bit annoying because it takes uh, thick AA or AAA batteries and it sucks them up very quickly. It's um, Once again, this is Bluetooth again, which is good, but yeah, it's a bit Bat will use a lot of batteries. 
Now I thought I might move back onto the keyboards. And I have this. This is what, probably one of my best sounding keyboards, but as you can see by the infinite amount of scratches on it, it's not the uh, really good nick and all the dust in there. But it does sound very nice. Anyway, so that's this keyboard here. So now I might move on and show you uh, the mouse that actually came with this keyboard. So, if I move this keyboard out of the way now, it's another Apple mouse. So, it's a bit weird, but, you know, I mean, well, I'm all Apple mouses. So, here's the mouse here. If I zoom in, uh, as you can see, it's sort of a weird, it's a weird shape again, like th this Apple mouse here. Which I will grab. It's a bit um, higher than that one though. However, this is still works like an ordinary mouse. It will work with Windows as I've tried. The scroll wheel goes in every which direction you want it to. And this is also a middle click. It um, does have a middle click. You have side buttons. It's a USB port connection. Uh, funny thing about this other keyboard is that this keyboard here. Uh, has this key type of it, um, yes it has a USB but it's a different shape to your ordinary stock USB. I don't know what um, the reason for that is. And another thing I also forgot to tell you is that it has two USB ports on the back. So say if you wanted to chain the mouse to the keyboard, you can do that by just grabbing this, plugging it into there. There you go. Works amazingly. Uh, I have had plugged some USBs in it, but it said it didn't have enough power to supply to actually work for some reason in macOS, which is weird. Okay, now I thought I might get onto the Flight Sim hardware. And to start off with, I thought I might show you my yoke. This is the CH Products Flight Sim yoke. So you can see well, it's very robust, very, very high build quality. Uh, as you can see, I like. Unlike most yokes, this has a throttle quadrant built into it. So you've got your throttle there and your mixture and um, everything, which is really good. And these two switches here, uh, these can be set to um, this one, I think, in X-Plane. It, it actually picks up this yoke, which is very good. And it sets the default key mapping. So for this, this is uh, landing gear down to push it down, landing gear up to hook up. And then this flaps down and flaps up, which is good. This really is a good yoke. It has a good um, desk mounting mechanism. So it mounts right onto your desk like this. Um, this is also a little trim, I guess. Well, not really trim wheel, but a trim um, type thing. I don't really use it much, but anyway. Uh, and then to the second part of this is the CH Products um, Pro Pedals, which I will grab. Okay, here we, here are the CH Products Pro Pedals. These are definitely uh, one of the best flight sim hardware pieces that you can buy. They have the right amount of tension in them. And that's the cool thing about these, and you can I've been using the yoke too for this, is that the pedals and yoke can be used for car games, such as, um, I think there was a piece that actually went in here that stopped the pedals from um, sliding for your rudder um, so you could use it in car games but overall they're great um, for using in playing games uh, I've got to tell you this but in the yoke and this they both have very sturdy and very 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 long USB cables uh, USB cable connection and uh, they're very good now I think I might get onto the most important um, part of the uh, setup itself which is the computer it is a late 2015 iMac with an Intel Core i5-6500. It has an, um, an AMD Radeon R9M390 and 16 gigs of RAM. I think it has over two, um, base, basically two gigabytes of video RAM. I would uh, prefer to have a bit more uh, as some of the flight simulators have given me a warning for that, but I will get that in the future. Uh, it has been a good computer. It um, has actually currently running Windows, 
So I have put boot camp so that you can ru I can run Windows and Mac OS on the same computer, which is very good. Overall, this is a really good computer, and I think this is my setup. Apart from this one last thing, which is this WD MyBook hard drive. So this is what I keep all my games on. It is not an extremely fast hard drive, but it's, I think it's a one or two terabyte storage. Um, definitely runs, um, does all the games completely fine. Uh, and I think that's about it. Okay, so thanks for watching. I will link all the products that I have listed that you can still buy in the description. Uh, Logitech no longer makes the um this G602 mouse. So if you're willing to purchase this, you'll have to go and find it somewhere else. Uh, however, they do make a great selection of mouses to these days. You can still purchase the um uh, of course you can still purchase the Apple keyboard, the Apple mouse, uh, newer versions of the WD MyBook drive, uh, the CH products, um, yoke and pedals. You can still buy it. this iMac. There's new iMacs out now, and the new ones have the M1 chip in them, which means you can't boot camp Windows like I'm currently doing but they are much more powerful than this model here. Um, and uh, I've also, with the other mice, such as these old Apple, um, this old Apple mouse and the keyboard, um, Apple keyboard, you can buy them off of eBay for not very much now. Um, they're still very good products and they um, last you very long. Anyway, I think that's about it. So, yep, I'll link all the products in the description and thanks for watching.